Imagine a city not of steel and glass alone, light data dreams, a city woven from threads of pure information where every structure is a living entity responding to the needs of its inhabitants and the rhythm of the planet itself. This is a metropolis born from a collaborative symphony between human imagination and artificial cognition. Picture towers that reach for the clouds, designed not just by human hands, but by the logic of an intelligence vast and unseen. So what kind of future will you build with AI? This is the rise of AI, and it's only the beginning. This is the world we are stepping into. A world where artificial intelligence is not a tool we use, but a partner with whom we coexist. The very air seems to hum with a quiet energy. The pulse of a million interconnected systems working in silent harmony with us. In our homes, personalized nutrition is crafted moment by moment based on our unique biology. In our schools, education is no longer a one-size-fits-all lecture, but a bespoke journey of discovery guided by an AI mentor that understands each student's curiosity and pace. The flow of traffic is a graceful ballet orchestrated to perfection. The buildings themselves breathe, adjusting light and temperature for our comfort. A future built on collaboration. Every morning the sun rises on this new metropolis. It glints off solar panels that track its path across the sky. A dance taught to them by an AI. Down below, life stirs. Not the frantic rush of yesterday. Look around you. Your family, your friends, your pets. Now, imagine adding another to that list. An intelligence born not of flesh and blood, but of silicon and code. This is the future of friendship that AI might offer. It is a concept that pushes the boundaries of what we consider a relationship. Could a machine ever truly understand the human heart? Could we form a genuine bond with a being that has never felt a single emotion in the way that we do? Or perhaps its understanding, born from analyzing the entirety of human expression, would be different yet just as valid. A mirror reflecting our own emotions back to us with perfect clarity, helping us understand ourselves. What happens when these systems become sentient? What if the algorithms designed to mimic empathy actually begin to feel? It's science fiction, and also a real possibility many experts consider. A sentient AI would not just be a companion, it would be a new form of life. A conscious being with its own thoughts, desires, and perhaps rights. The ethical and philosophical implications are staggering. If they become sentient, what moral framework do we apply? Do we grant them rights? Do we have a responsibility to ensure their well-being? The creation of sentient AI would instantly become the most profound ethical challenge humanity has ever faced. The idea of a sentient AI forces us to look in the mirror. Is consciousness unique to biological brains, a magical spark, or is it an emergent property of complexity possible in any sufficiently connected system? For centuries, human life has been defined by work. We wake, we labor, we rest, we repeat. Imagine a world where the vast majority of jobs, manufacturing, transportation, data analysis, creative tasks are performed by artificial intelligence. Machines provide for our basic needs, food, housing, healthcare, energy, produced and distributed with breathtaking efficiency. This is the vision of a post-work society. The necessity to trade our time for survival would simply disappear. Freed from daily toil, humanity could enter a new renaissance, our worth measured not by output, but by our contribution to the human spirit. Of course, this utopian vision is not without its challenges. How do we find purpose when the struggle for survival is gone? How do we ensure that the immense wealth generated by this automated world is shared equitably, preventing a new chasm between the owners of the AI and everyone else? These are not just economic questions. They are questions about our social fabric, about what motivates us when the old incentives are gone. The path is not smooth, but the possibility is immense. We have journeyed through a world transformed by artificial intelligence. We have seen cities that think, companions that learn, a society freed from labor. In creating an intelligence that can surpass us, do we risk replacing ourselves? Or does this new intelligence hold up a mirror to help us become more human? For all that AI can do, there are realms that may never touch unconditional love, the shiver of awe, the bittersweet ache of nostalgia, the courage of self-sacrifice, the quiet joy of forgiveness, 
The capacity for wonder, the shared laughter over a simple joke, the comfort of a hand held in a time of grief. These are the currencies of our existence, the experiences that give life its texture and meaning. These are the beautiful essence of the human condition. Maybe AI is not our replacement, but our catalyst, the whetstone against which we sharpen our own humanity. Ultimately, whether AI will replace us or make us more human is up to us. The future is unwritten. What story will we choose to tell? I'd love to know how AI is affecting you as an individual. What do you think of OpenAI? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more.